Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Capricorn. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do Capricorn and how, uh, because that's how I keep up with you Capricorn is in the comments, right? Uh, as well Capricorn, I would like to ask if you enjoy this video or enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe darling, uh, I would love for you to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. Uh, so Capricorn, before we get into this reading, <laughs> before we get into this weekly reading for you Capricorn, uh, I would like to say that when it comes to my weekly readings, they're just here to uh, give you some perspective, some food for thought, right? You have to rely on your intuition because I'm going to be speaking in a specific situation, but these cards could resonate in a completely different way for you and your situation, right? So just use these cards as some food for thought, a perspective to consider, but never making a choice in your life because it's your life to live, not me, uh, right Capricorn? So with all that in mind, let's just get into your weekly reading, starting out with your objective card. And your objective card for this week is the Two of Swords. And I actually feel drawn to be pulling another card for it, which is the uh, the Itch. <laughs> uh, the Sun card, Capricorn. So, how are we taking this? Because this is very two very different cards. I wouldn't really anticipate feeling so drawn to be pulled together. Um, because with this Two of Swords, Capricorn, this Two of Swords signifies an individual at a crossroads in life, right? I guess the Two of Swords also is like a matter of the mind in one hand or the matters of the heart, right? Do you, do you make your, this decision based off of emotion or do you make it based off of logic, uh, right? Um, so there's definitely seem like for this to be your objective energy, this Two of Swords, just if it has its own solo thing, um... It does seem to be like this place of needing to just be decisive rather than just freezing and hoping that there would be an answer to come. But with this two, uh, not this two, with this sun card, this is where it's interesting. So I'm going to have to pull some clarifiers on this, uh, Capricorn, to see what this is about because it just is very, um, it's interesting, this energy. And these clarifiers are not, well, they are helpful, but it's a very interesting message in that in of itself. So, Two of Swords and the Sun card clarifiers, Capricorn, are the Six of Pentacles. Right? Six? Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And then the Ten of Swords. So, uh, Capricorn, some of you guys are seemingly this week going to be making a hard decision. Um... So let's just go along with the narrative, right? With, I mean, with this Ten of Swords here and this Five of like, this is telling me, I'll just talk about this setup right quick as its own solo thing. This right here, right, Ten of Swords is talking about pain, right? And kind of trying to heal from some pain. Someone put these swords in your back, whether it's intentional or not. Seems like you are kind of at peace with it. So, um... Or I don't want to say a piece of it, right? I mean, clearly these swords are in your back, darling. Um, it's currently affecting you, and right, and weighing you down at the very least, and kind of bring it's inconveniencing you, darling. Let's just say that. And but it seems like you're taking it with stride. Um, so it kind of leads me to believe that either like maybe like you put it in perspective, Capricorn, of this person where it's just like they're not trying to, or what have you. But. Six of Pentacles comes in because let's just say like uh, you feel like you're put, you put more energy into a situation than what you're getting back from it, right? Whether this is a person or whether it's like an investment in a stock or a job or what have you or a hobby, what have you. You feel as if maybe like the energy you put in, you're not getting like a equal return or if any return, right? You feel like there's a little bit of imbalance with this. And so Five of Pentacles doesn't have you feeling really good about it. There's something about this situation that it just doesn't have you feeling good and kind of, uh, this is partially why as well. I don't feel as if it's like a, um, 
someone's intentionally or something's trying to intentionally put swords in your back or hurt you or inconvenience you, uh, Capricorn, is because this is you're seemingly internalizing it, right? This all seems to be just like a thing of the self and like how you're feeling and just like either your own mental spiral, we'll say right so this is where it's kind of like maybe for some of you guys capricorn you're at this place of indecision you're at this place of um making a choice of being like do you make a choice for your happiness right or do you make this choice to make other people happy to not upset other people and make other people feel some type of way capricorn um because you choose to transition from them right so maybe that's kind of like the hard choice for you where it's just like you know, like you kind of, yeah, it's kind of like one of those like hard decisions where it's just like seemingly like the best decision for yourself might upset other people. But here's the thing, Capricorn, when, especially when it comes to stuff like this, you have to just remember that if someone truly cares about you, as long as you're not like taking their cut, like taking something from them, right? You're not taking the, taking their money, right? You're not like, uh, it doesn't directly impact their life at all other than just like their access to you for example right anyone that truly cares about you uh, capricorn they're going to be understanding of it they're going to see how ooh, i don't want to say they want to be understanding but they'll get how it's not personal you know it can feel personal they can get how it, like maybe it's just like even hard for you to even bring up a tough conversation of how something hurts right i know i'm speaking such a way where it's just like you're leaving the situation entirely but maybe for some of you guys you just need to speak up um but you know let's get into this two of swords comes in again for you so two of swords twice so I really want to um, dive into this card a little bit more just on its own as well. So let's see what clarifiers we have for this. So again, there, this probably uh, for many of you Capricorn has been this thing of a, that you've been indecisive about probably for a while. You probably Capricorn have, I don't want to say you've pretended, but you haven't um, really like talked about it you won't you have like it's like not addressing the elephant in the room right so uh let's look at these cards that i have for you for these this clarifier so page of wands ten of swords for you again uh capricorn the wheel of fortune two of pentacles and yeah so and this is all keep in mind capricorn for your two of swords so really capricorn it's funny how these cards like these two like this two sword cards are following you in your reading it's really showing to me how much this is impacting you um really how much how hard of a decision this is for you because with this ten of swords again this is kind of one of those things where it's like you probably, uh, Capricorn, don't realize even how much this is impacting you. Or you're not willing to admit or you're pretending like this type of situation. It's one of those things. Okay, here's something I just want to say and then I'll put a rest to it, Capricorn. Um, so often, like, and I feel like it's one of those things, especially if you grew up as like a kid um, in trauma. Now, I'm not saying all of you guys had trauma in your life, right? But it's very much so, I feel like this message needs to be heard for maybe just even a specific few Capricorns, where it's like, if you grew up in trauma, right, where it's just like a hard life, um, you kind of are used to dealing with a lot of Capricorn, right? But the thing is, and we grow up dealing with a lot, we'll just like make the best of things and not complain and just keep it going, right? And, and we grew up with that. And then we just continue accepting and allowing toxic things or just like heavy things into our life because we can handle it right and we've always been that's what we're that's our things like oh we can handle it right and yeah it may not feel good but we can handle it we can you know but just because you can handle something capricorn doesn't necessarily mean you should um and i feel like that's something that needs to be heard for some of you capricorns is like just because you can withstand some type of stress this just because you can withstand this ten of swords whatever this is for you doesn't mean you should just because you can understand or you understand that they're not personally trying to uh, hurt you or whatever, inconvenience you, Capricorn, 
it just does, doesn't mean that you should just continue allowing it to happen. This is one of those things where it's just like, yeah, you have to make the tough choice, but I just, I guess it just is like this weird thing where it's like, for some of you guys, like you just don't want to make this decision because I can't help but feel like you don't want to feel like the bad guy, but I just don't understand where that even comes into the equation. So yeah, you've been weighing it out constantly. Two of pentacles, like you really don't know um, the right decision to make in this regard. You don't know, um, you're just constantly weighing it out. You're kind of trying to see if you can balance it all. But spoiler alert, Capricorn, I don't think you will be able to continue balancing this for long, if you, for much longer, if you want things to continue uh, going forward in your life, right? And I know that just sounds so like whatever, but I have a reason for this, Capricorn, right? I'm not just saying this out of spite, um, but it's because this Wheel of Fortune comes in with the Page of Wands. I don't see the wheels turning in your favor. I don't see the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor at all, Capricorn, until you own this Page of Wands energy. And the Page of Wands energy is the card that I like to say is your um, clean slate card. So Capricorn, I feel like these two are, in, are connected in this way. So yeah, I do feel like it's kind of essential for you to be addressing this, right? You can't just continue trying to just weigh things out for too much longer. You kind of have, because it's like, eventually these swords are going to kill you right it may you may be able to withstand it right now capricorn you may be able to you know you may be able to deal with that pain but now i'm just getting like the imagery of like you know like a frog it doesn't know they're in boiling water until it's too late i feel like it's one of those things but you know that you're being stabbed you know you're in that pot of boiling water but you're just choosing to stay because you can deal with it you know and i don't feel like that's fair to you so um I feel like that's, yeah, I just, I just don't feel like it's fair to you, that's all. So, Six of Swords. I do see you guys, you know, I do see you guys putting some distance, uh, moving on from this. Not willingly, well, I don't, I don't want to say will, not willingly, but, you know, with the Two of Swords as well, right? Um, the birds are here, like, trying to be like, hey, pay attention. So I see you guys paying attention to your guides. And now you're just allowing them to guide you. I mean, that's how I see it as, right? And at least in this tarot deck, this is the your spirit guides are very connected with this deck. So um, let's get some clarifiers on it, though, shall we? Let's see what's up with that. Capricorn, let me know how you're feeling. By the way, I'm just curious. Let me know how you're feeling. Um, if you had, if you haven't had dinner yet today, let me know what you're having for dinner. If you know, um, if you are eating dinner currently while you're watching me, let me know what you're eating, or if you already ate your dinner. I just love knowing what people eat. It's my weird fascination. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be eating today. I might be fasting. I know fasting uh, Ramadan is happening. Uh, currently, so let me know if anyone, any of my Capricorns are doing Ramadan. I'm not fasting for Ramadan, but I know that's going on right now because I have some friends doing it. Currently. Uh, but yeah, now, sorry for that spiel, Capricorn. Let's just get into your Six of Swords clarifiers. Pull these cards. This one right here. Are we taking this one too? Yeah. I can understand why they took that one as well. So the clarifiers of your, said that word weird, uh, for your Six of Swords Capricorn is your Hermit card. We have the Page of Wands. This is the card that wanted, extra card that wanted to come out, darling. So it's really honing in on, you're moving on for, into new situation, new clean slate, starting new. Uh, Justice card. And the Strength card. A lot of major arcana. And major arcana, like when you have a lot of major arcana in one specific focus point, focal point, that lets me know of a big transition, but we kind of already knew that as well. Um, remind me, I'm like distracted. Um, because of the Six of Swords, right? It lets me know, like, it's a big move for you. It's a big step, Capricorn, right? Um, with this hermit card there is the sense of self-reflection here there is this i mean confirming to me what i was saying before you like it's all inner like i very introspective card so i was right in that regard um capricorn so it's really confirming to me what's needed for you to bring balance into your life again is to just break that cycle so i do kind of feel like it's a cycle uh for a lot of you capricorns i feel like i just need to say the message again just because you can handle something or withstand some something uh capricorn doesn't mean you should 
Um, and I feel like this is one of those cases for you, right? This is your thing that you need to do some shadow work on, confirming to me also from before, where it's like that trauma response, right? So, uh, I mean, darling, like your spirit guides are right uh, right here with me agreeing because they brought up the page of wands as well, where it's like talking about the clean slate. So Capricorn, I mean, it's like, I mean, come on now. You can even look up the mess like meaning of these cards, right? It's not me just projecting my own message into this, right? So it's like, mm, I love it though. So Capricorn, you talk about this, right? We talk about the transition, the need for you to move on from something. You probably get it now at this point, right? I don't need to hone in on that message really too much more, probably, I would imagine, right, Capricorn? So now let's get into the journey of where, where it is that you're going into. You make, let's just say, uh, Capricorn, that you made that choice in that fork in the road and you finally just chose the matters of the heart, which I feel like is connected with your son. Um, so now let's get into this, uh, Knight of Wands for you. This is the passionate journey. This is the ambitious, am ambitious, 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 <laughs> uh, Knight Capricorn. This is where it is. Like you start, you make that choice, matters of the heart. That's where you feel that passion, right? Burning within your heart, darling. Um, let's see what this journey looks like for you, Capricorn. The cards are flying out with them. Oh, wow, darling. All right. So, getting, getting these cards situated. The clarifiers that we have going on for your Knight of Wands, uh, Capricorn, is the Justice card. We have the Five of Pentacles. Now, it's funny that this card as well, because I don't usually talk about um, inverted too often, but I do for Five of Wands, but now as well for um, Five of Pentacles, because in this upright position, it's the negative, well, negative, um, where it's like that anxiety and all that, right? So when it's inverted, you're releasing yourself from that anxiety. So put a pin on that, remember that as we get into that in a moment. Uh, Three of Wands, Ten of Wands, I don't know why I said Ten of Wands, <laughs> and the Fool card. We already took Justice card as well. I don't know if I talked about that. I think we did. I was ram, I'm, darling. I've been rambling in y'all's reading. I apologize, Capricorn. But <laughs> so uh, let's get into this. But this is a journey, jam packed journey for sure. The full card only makes sense for you to show up in your reading into this journey, right? This confirms to me you make the choice of the matters of the heart rather than logic, right? Um, because that's what the fool is all about. The fool looks like they're the fool to other people because it seems like the fool isn't using logic. But I like to say the fool only looks like the fool to the fool, like to other people, because the other people don't see the spirit guide guiding them. That's how I always like to see this animal personally anyways, right? It's like the fool looks careless and doesn't have a plan. Looks like they don't have a plan, but they actually do. It's all just, they just know, right? So two or three of wands this is confirming to me from before. Like pay attention to breadcrumbs in your life. You're going to definitely be getting science this week, Capricorn, on like the path before you. And we already talked about this five of pentacles being inverted for you. So it's like you're releasing yourself from that anxiety. So it is confirming to me from before, Capricorn, that anxiety that you're feeling with that dynamic that we were talking about that you needed to get distance from with that six of swords, Capricorn. Um, it confirms to me that you guys make that decision for you. And it's really, I feel like it's really good, right? Um, because Ten of Wands comes in and with the Justice card bringing this in again, back into this balance, right? Justice card following you in this reading. So it's like confirming to me this entire journey for you, Capricorn, is like based off of like bringing things back into karmic balance for you, Capricorn. This is kind of like one of those things where it's just like um, that well-deserved, right? This is one of those times where it's like you make the decision that's like for you. Uh, right. The, I have a client actually, and I feel like sharing this part, I don't think they'll mind because I won't give any details. Um, I have a client that was talking to me about how they plan on going on vacation soon and they realized that they never went on vacation, uh, Capricorn, with just themselves. They're always with like their family or with other people where they kind of had to like feel like they had to do something for them. And then now they're excited for this vacation that they're taking for themselves pretty soon in uh, Mexico, I believe. Um, 
and it's just going to be them and they're so excited and uh they realize they never had a vacation where it's just them where they could truly relax and i feel like granted i don't feel like you're going on a vacation necessarily tour uh not tour it's capricorn because uh, you're definitely growing some character with this eight of wands here but you're definitely going to feel empowered um i feel like that is definitely the theme for you so let's look at these clarifiers temperance card the nine of pentacles and then the four of wands for you so yeah with this eight of wands i like to see this card as like the claiming of your power um kind of grabbing up at things and letting go of things that are no longer serving you right this is the card where it's just like you know in like a fruit stand or like a produce section there are some people who will just grab the first things and they won't like touch all, all the like fruits and vegetables they'll just grab at one and just go right you are going to be Capricorn the type of person, I don't know why I said you so weird, where it's just like you're going to check each one to make sure and see if it feels right and it is right for you. You're taking that extra step, right? Temperance card, patience at this time, nine of cups and four of wands. Yeah, I feel like this is just going to be a pretty, not necessarily a flashy journey for you, Capricorn, right? Um, but flashy doesn't, just because it's not flashy doesn't mean it's not good, Capricorn. I feel like this is just going to be a little bit of a journey. We're now going to be observing the Capricorn who starts spoiling and buying things for themselves rather than constantly feeling like whenever they go to a store, they need to spend all their extra free money on other people and start spending it on themselves and start spending time on themselves. Uh, so I'm really excited for that, Capricorn. Uh, but that is the cards that I have for you for this weekly reading for you, Capricorn. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn. And then also, I do all the weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, Capricorn. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they are not, darling, uh, send them my video for their zodiac sign and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. Until next time, though, Capricorn, I love you so much. Bye.